Hello, I am Evelyn Samuel, the author of Super Super Easy Study Guides. And today, I am going to give you some great assistance in answering exam questions. I would like to start with discussing the character of Lady Macbeth, which is a typical exam question. Question, explain how far do you think that Shakespeare presents Lady Macbeth as a powerful woman? Answer, during the Jacobean period and the reign of King James of England, women had a very little status. They were under the control of men and were not allowed to voice their opinions. Surprisingly, Lady Macbeth does not fit the stereotypical women of this period because she is portrayed as having dominance over her husband. Quote, leave this night's business in my care. Lady Macbeth is seen as a very controversial, unconventional character, especially to a contemporary audience. She is associated to the witches and can be seen as the fourth witch because she consults with the supernatural in Act 1, Scene 5. She is a deeply ambitious woman who lusts after power and status. Macbeth's letter tells her of his encounter with the witches and their prediction that he will become king. This fires up her zest to become queen. She will stop at nothing to achieve her ambition and urges Macbeth to kill Duncan and seize the crown. She uses persuasive adjectives like worthy and my husband to entice him. But when she sees that he is reluctant to yield to his demands, quote, we will not proceed further in this business. She becomes furious and belittles him, targeting his manhood. Quote, and live a coward in thine own esteem? She is ruthless in her attack of him. Quote, when you dost do it, then you are a man. Shakespeare gives us a visual imagery of Lady Macbeth's speech when she ruthlessly says that if she had, quote, given suck, she would, quote, pluck her baby while it was still smiling and dash the brains out. Here, her devious and ruthless personality is clearly visible and the onomatopoeia dash gives the audience a sense of revulsion for her cruelty. Finally, Lady Macbeth manages to convince Macbeth to kill Duncan and he relents. Quote, I am settled and bent up. She prepares to kill Duncan and she consults the supernatural for guidance. In Act 1, Scene 5, she says, quote, Unsex me. She wants to shed off her womanly wiles and become more like a man. Losing her femininity will enable her to be more cold and ruthless. Quote, make thick my blood. Shakespeare presents Lady Macbeth as close to being supernatural and we see her very dark toned soliloquy where she is cavorting with the supernatural. Her desperation for power has become very, very great. 
she is also presented as being bold and confident because when Macbeth asks if we should fail, she tells him, quote, to screw your courage to the sticking place and we will not fail. Her evil intentions and immense power over Macbeth is clearly visible here. She also tells him in Act 1, Scene 5, quote, to look like the innocent flower, but be a serpent underneath. She wants him to pretend to be kind and sweet like a beautiful flower, but maintain a murderous intent when Duncan comes to the castle. After Macbeth kills Duncan and refuses to re-enter the scene of the crime, Lady Macbeth is bold enough to go and place the bloody daggers on the sleeping guards. In the banquet scene, although by now she is quite isolated from Macbeth, she still dominates the scene. She knows exactly how to draw attention away from Macbeth, who feared the ghost of Banco. She tells a guest to leave when she recognizes that the situation was getting out of control. She very skillfully makes excuses for him, telling the guest that his reaction is born from a sickness he has had in his youth and begs them to save him the embarrassment. Earlier in the play, Macbeth is so surprised at Lady Macbeth's cold, calculating nature that he says, quote, bring forth men children only. Here he is referring to her ruthless nature, devoid of any feminine characteristics. Quote, take my milk for gall. In Act 1, Scene 5, Lady Macbeth asks the supernatural to make her milk bitter as gall. This can be seen as mirroring Act 5, Scene 1. The gallbladder produces bile to break down fats and in the aforementioned scene, we can see a broken Lady Macbeth on the verge of death. She is hallucinating and the strong ironclad lady is now a mere shadow of her former self. She is sleepwalking and ultimately reveals her guilt and torment since Duncan's death. Quote, Yet who would have thought the old man to have so much blood? It is ironic because in Act 2, she tells Macbeth that, quote, A little water shall clear us of this deed. This can be compared to when she says, Out, damn spot! Out, as she tries desperately to wash Duncan's bloodstains from her hands. She then commits suicide. When Macbeth was told that she has died, he shows acceptance and says, quote, She should have died hereafter. We tend to sympathize with Lady Macbeth here because she is able to redeem herself and show some remorse. Quote, All the perfumes of Arabia will not sweeten this little hand. Act 5, Scene 1. We can juxtapose her behavior and attitude to her sins, to that of Macbeth. Macbeth was cold and ruthless, right to the very end, especially when he killed young Seward. 
he showed no remorse for his action and fought to the end. My book, Macbeth Made Super Super Easy, has more help on the character of Lady Macbeth. Check it out. If you like my video, please share, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks very much indeed. Good luck. Why do you think that Lady Macbeth is a powerful woman? Please leave your comment below and look out for my videos on help on Macbeth next. If you found my videos interesting, please share my videos. Thank you very much.